Good morning, everyone. Stray dog Bill Arnold. Here's our new sign. <laughs> We're recording today. Uh, this is uh, song number 1390. And 1390 days in a row. Started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020. And here we are, 1390 days later, doing another one. We're going to keep on. Uh, Aaron's here along with me today, too, and we're going to be keep on doing one song every day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, no longer euthanized in the kill shelters across our country because when they run out of space, there is nothing else they can do. We understand their problem, and it is a big problem, and they have to start euthanizing the poor dogs and cats who are perfectly healthy to and make adoptable. Room, and adoptable to Most make room for for. Uh, for incoming rescues and the problem is we've produced too many we've allowed too many to be conceived to make litters and litters of puppers puppies and kittens puppers. that, that are, are, are just not going to find homes and uh, so we've got to limit and we're going to do that through conception control in the dog and cat world only talk about the dog and cat world but anyway Today we're going to do uh, a song from Eric Clapton and Cream, written by a guy named uh, Robert Johnson, and he, and uh, he wrote this many years ago. But uh, and it's a neat song. It's it's called Crossroads. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> song. Please everybody stay and neuter your pets. Adopt from an animal shelter. Let's try to save as many of these lives as we can. There are, we are still as a society allowing 2,000 per day is the approximate number now. The 2023 figures came out to 2,000 per day. 
and back in 2011 it was 7,000 per day so we got it down to 2,000 now it was 7,000 and believe it or not back in 1970 it was 41,000 dogs and cats were euthanized every single day of the year 15 million that year were euthanized and it's a terrible tragedy this is going on we got our first dog back in 1970 our family did uh, Aaron's uh, brothers and sisters and uh, uh, late Pat Arnold, who was the founder of our shelter, by the way, and, uh, and who has passed on about 20 years ago now, a very sad time, um, passed on of a brain aneurysm. But um, you don't know those things are coming. But anyway, um, uh, we've got to get a hold of conception in the dog and cat world. We knew that from the very start. We started to, we, we, when, when we first started picking up dogs, uh, uh, and before we moved to the stray dog site where we are now, uh, we, I can, I can remember thinking all we had to do was put an ad in the paper and they, they would come, people would come and adopt these dogs. And we, we had two or three extra dogs then. Well, we already had family dogs, about four. And then we added two or three more that had walked by the house and we rescued them. And, and we thought, well, we'll just put an ad in the paper. Well, uh, of course, nobody answered the ad. And then we, we delved into it, the problem a little bit. This is back in the early 90s. And we found out that, of, co of course, there's so many being euthanized every day that we, we, we didn't even know. That's when we found out. And that's when we knew conception control was the answer. And we've got to spay and neuter our pets and get complete control of conception in the dog and cat world. We're only talking about the dog and cat world. Complete control of conception in the dog and cat world. Don't allow any to be conceived that we can't take care of for the rest of their lives. We have to get to that point. And uh, we can't make a law against the use of euthanasia because there are many uh, veterinary medical uses uh, for, for, the, for the procedure. Uh, for example, when a, a dog or a cat has terminal cancer, then you take it to the vet after it begins to suffer. And, 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 and it's a very sad thing, but you have to, uh, I've gone through many, many euthanasias from our dogs at Stray Dog. And it's a terrible thing to have to go through, but it's, uh, it's at that time when they finally uh, uh, reached that point with a cancer or, or other diseases, you have to do it. So that's the, that's the only use of it though, it's not for extras. We can't kill extras because uh, uh, because it's the easy way to do it. No, we can get control of conception in the dog and cat world. Okay, please check out straydog.org, no kill dog shelter. As I said, we founded that shelter back in 1994, almost 30 years ago now. And uh, we're still going strong today. Got our 501c3 tax exempt status. So that makes all donations, all contributions, big and small to the shelter tax deductible. Please go online and make a donation if you could and adopt from an animal shelter and spay and neuter your pets. And we'll be back again tomorrow with another song from Stray Dog Billy and Aaron.